we're looking to provide home repairs for um, needy people, disabled people, elderly, or um, low financial income. It doesn't have to be all three, it could just be one of those things. And it's an opportunity to foster some really amazing relationships between our community and people that aren't from our community. Just being able to bring some hope and joy into the lives of the uh, residents that we're working for. Uh, what we got to do is we got to support the roof while we pull this out. Ten years ago, our church went on our first mission trip to uh, Hobbs, New Mexico through group mission trips. I really fell in love with uh, the group mission trips um, style. And after my first year, um, brought back all of the inside knowledge and was like, we can definitely do this. This is something that I think our church is ready for and I think our community is ready for. And they really proved that we could do this and they were ready for it and they stepped up in a big way. We're working on 54 houses in the Wallingford area all in one week. Um, so there are crews of six people going to each individual house. Um, their projects um, include construction like building handicap ramps or repairing porches or doing other kinds of home repair kind of construction. The volunteers that have come to work on the projects are from all over the country. Uh, we've got 360 volunteers, 17 churches represented, some from as far away as Michigan and Ontario as well and they've been an absolute blessing to our community. We're all really happy to have them. Uh, what's the latest time that we can do all those things? On this house, we're, we have a couple projects going on. We're replacing the floorboards on the front porch. We took off the old porch boards. We discovered that some of the joists were um, rotted, so they're going to replace those before they put the new boards on. They're scraping and painting the entire outside of the house. There's a handicap ramp, and the railings on it are very flimsy and so we're gonna put new railings on the handicap ramp. Where was, the, where was the other one? We've been looking to have this done for over a year now. Um, this money was tight and uh, we were unable to secure the financing for it. I'm sure I could have hired a private contractor to do this, but um, financially it would have been strapping. Well, I hope that, first of all, that people know there are people that want to do good. Um, and so we um, are real excited to be reaching out and helping. And the youth that are coming in from all over the country um, are just a sign of our future and that our future is filled with people that want to help and it's not all the bad news you hear. This experience uh, means a lot to me. It helps me grow a lot in my faith and it's really nice to come together with all these people that share the common interest. So the impact that I'm hoping it has on the community of Wallingford is um, bringing good news to the community. We live in a world where there's a lot of bad news and bad things going on and this is a really big thing that's a really big positive and you know we're fixing homes in a community. That's great but at the same time we're building relationships. We've got a community of amazing people that are here just brightening our community even even more than it already is. Um, and I think that's that's been our main goal is to bring people together. It doesn't work. Yeah. I think any of the work that's being done will definitely, you know, help our value of our house and, um, you know, certainly make the community better um, through their work.